Hi there, so in the previous video I showed you how to create a free subscription for your magazine app. So in this one I want to actually create a new um, type of in-app purchase which is going to be which is going to allow you to charge for individual issues. So you could say you want to charge for the August version of the magazine before you're allowed to um, before you're allowed to read it. Okay, so I can go in here and say manage in-app purchases. So here I am back on iTunes Connect for the app which I'm trying to modify. So I'm going to click on manage in-app purchases. We have a couple of in-app purchases there already um, but then I'm going to create a new one and then for charging for issues it's best to choose a non-consumable so that means the so that means the users only need to buy that once and then these services do not expire or decrease with you so that's what you want to use. So I'm going to click on select and I'm going to give a reference name Okay, so in this case, so I'm going to give the reference name of paid for issue one, and then I'm going to say lifestyle mark that subscription that issue one. So actually, let me just change that. Okay, so that's the reference name. So we have the lifestyle mark that subscription that issue one. So I'm going to select a price tier. Let's say that's going to be about two ninety nine or so. Yep. Okay, and then I scroll to the bottom, add a new language. Alright, so I've just typed in what I need to show, but then you all probably want to change that to make sure that it explains what the user is paying for. So I'm going to click on save. And then here I'm going to choose a file for the screenshot. And then we click on save. Alright, so we're done. Um, so let's go back to that um, in our purchase. Here, I need to copy this product ID. I need to add that to my JSON file. So going back to my JSON file in here. So previously, we always modified this item in here for the in-app purchase ID, but then this is for the magazine subscription. This um, pertains to the whole magazine. But then if you want to change, if you want to charge for each issue, you're going to have to add a new key for the issue which you want to charge for. So in this case, I'm going to charge for the first issue, which is 001. So I'm going to go in here and then type in a comma, and then paste, and then type in my in-app purchase ID. Okay, so basically what I've done here is I've, I've, um, I've added it I have added a new key here for the first issue, which is in our purchase ID. It's very similar to this one. You can actually copy and paste that. And then my key, the value of my key is um, lifestyle mark the subscription the issue one. All right. So then make sure there's no comma or there are no spaces after this, or else this is not going to um, be okay. If you want to test the validity of your JSON file, the best thing is you, know, you can easily go to the JSON file viewer. So you can go to let me search. All right, so if you go to jsonviewer.stack.hu, this is a very good place where you can actually test if your JSON file is, um, is valid, the syntax is valid. So if I go here and I paste in my file, I go to the viewer, and then if there was an error, it will show me the errors here, but then I can see that my JSON file has two keys, and then an array of issues, zero and one, and that's my in-app purchase ID. All right, so this is a very good website to check in, to check if your JSON files are valid. All right, so going back in here, I'm going to save that and then um, upload this to my server. So I'll replace what's there and then we can run the magazine again. So if I stop that and then run this in the simulator. So here, as you can see, the app has um, detected that this is a page for issue so then it has displayed the value or the price in there okay the localized price so here it says one dollar ninety nine that's because I'm in the UK but then it's gonna be two dollar ninety nine two dollars ninety nine cents if you were in the US all right so I'm gonna tap on buy now and then it says do you want to buy one paid issue for one ninety nine and then I click on buy and I have to put in my password 
Okay, so it says you have successfully subscribed to this issue. Please select it to start your download. All right, so I tap on OK, and I can tap again to start downloading the issue. So you see, so that's actually um, how to set up, how to charge for individual issues. So it's kind of easy. We have created everything for you in the back end. All you need to do is create your subscriptions on iTunes and then set up the information in your in, in the JSON file and you're good to go. All right, so thank you for watching this video.